Stars Cars was always like a fun bonus. And I mean, the other thing about the Stars Cars is that the, the thing for me that I'm thinking about Cream, and this ties back to Stars Cars, is that they were um, the first place to really kind of elevate things that I remember that, that weren't mainstream. So that's how we got in. That's what that was our avenue into like punk rock. That's where we discovered Ramones yeah, I mean, and a, Patti Smith. Yeah, it was also gossipy with a humor, a bit of humor, and for little kids, we would you know it's like I don't know if we necessarily we didn't understand a lot. Of but it. Jeff kind of did, I think, because he always he was always gravitated to the weird, and I mean like you know we were the the weird we were the the suburban kids that saw the New York Dolls, and then actually went and got the record, which I think was probably a rarity. And to bring this back to Stars Cars, I think that's probably why they were, some, sometimes they were elevating things like beaters, because it wasn't just... It was funny. Yeah, yeah, it was funny, but it was also like they were, um, you know, punk was starting to emerge, and it wasn't just about, oh, the glamour of Mick Jagger's lifestyle. It was also about the seedy underbelly. You know, I think of the 70s, 70s, I think, you know, it was a very gritty time. You know, when I think back to the 70s, my 70s, it was a gritty time. You know, like I said, the, the store we would buy that magazine was sandwiched between a strip club and a brothel. And we bought it and like there was just a rack of porno magazines and there would be a couple of rock magazines and we always waited for the cream.